Before we get into this particular feature of character reference, there's a few things that you need to know. First and foremost, you need to have your own server. If you don't know how to do that and you don't know how to invite your mid journey bot to the server, I'll leave a link to the video down below in the description of how you can do so. The reason being is because if you try to prompt within the mid journey server, you'll very quickly find that you'll be overwhelmed by other people's prompts and it'll be very difficult for you to locate your prompts and iterate upon them, okay? As you would be able to do if you had your own mid journey server and your own text channel. So with that out of the way, let's now get into it. So how do you use character reference? Well, first you have to copy these particular settings. So raw mode, stylized medium. And then with that out of the way, you just do a very simple prompt. Now I've seen other creators in this space and they do a bit more sophisticated prompts to begin with, but I've just gone with the very simple prompt. So if you're new to mid journey, you shouldn't have too much trouble following along. So a beautiful Russian woman, aspect ratio 16 by nine style raw. Okay. And that's what came back. And then you click on that image, you go open in browser and you go right click, copy image address. This is really important. Okay, copy image address because this is the exact image address that we're going to be using when we try to reference this particular character. So let's say now that we want to imagine this character on the front cover of a fashion magazine called Woman. Okay, I know that's super unoriginal, but here's how we would do it. Imagine a woman featured on the front cover of a fashion magazine called Woman. Okay, and then you go dash dash C ref. And then you know how we copied that image address? Now we just paste it. So control V, have a space there after the image address. I know it's quite long winded with CDN, Discord app and attachments, etc. It's a long link. Don't worry about it. It's fine. And then what you do is you go dash dash CW. Now you get two options here. You get either zero or a hundred. Now, if you choose zero, you allow mid journey more creativity. So it will look like her face is looking. That's why it's consistent character, but she'll be wearing something different. Her makeup style may be even different and her hairstyle may be different as well, as well as the environment as well. It's going to be quite drastically different. Okay. If you've not specified it specifically. But dash dash CW100 is different in that it would allow for her to look exactly the same as how she looks in the reference image in terms of what she's wearing and her hairstyle and her makeup style as well. I'm going to try and make her look exactly the same. So I go with 100 there and the best aspect ratio for a front cover would be, of course, vertical. Magazines are typically vertical. They're not square. So we're going to go with this. We are going to go with AR 9 by 16 and we want five different variations of this. So how do we do that? We go with dash dash R5. Here is what came back. I really like these. I think they're really good. But what I went with in the end is I went with this. Okay, I think this is a really, really good image. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below of this one. I really like it. But yeah, I'd be intrigued to know your particular feedback on it. Now, let's imagine that we want to feature her on the billboard in like Times Square. Okay, so this is what I did. So a woman featured on a billboard in Times Square in New York City. And this time I've gone with dash dash CW0. CW basically stands for character weight, by the way. So we've gone with character weight of zero there. And that allows for much more room in terms of creativity. It allows for more expansion of how we want the character to appear basically. So this is what happened. This is what it came back with. And then in the end, I vouched for this one here. This red one's really striking. Okay. So we've gone with that. Looks really good. And then finally, we now, let's say we want her to be featured on like a landing page of an e-commerce store. So what I did was a woman featured on an e-commerce website landing page. And I wanted more of a photo shoot. So I did that initially and I didn't quite get the result I wanted. Although that image is good, it's a bit too zoomed in. So in terms of the dimensions, it wouldn't work if you'd imagine, you know, some navigation links being there, the logo being there, some CTA or button being there, it wouldn't necessarily work, right? She takes up too much real estate on the page. So I had to look for the image in question that has the right proportions. And I came to the conclusion that it's this one in here. And that's using a composition technique called the rule of thirds, by the way, as well, which is basically where you get one vertical line there, one vertical line there, and it's usually offset against one of those vertical lines slightly to the right or left. And so that's what's using the rule of thirds. So I decided to then go with that image. And then if we go to Canva now, I flipped it. Okay. So left to right. And yeah, chick centric is the fake brand name. And yeah, this is basically a mock-up for a client. It could be anyway for an e-commerce client. If you want to see more of these types of videos, or you want me to cover this in a future live stream. Now I aim to do live streams once a week, either in midweek or on the weekend. So if you want to, you know, see me cover this in more depth in the future, feel free to comment down below, but thanks for watching. I've been Vey and until next time, peace.